Hello, everybody. Uh, <laughs> wow, wow, I'm doing my old intro on this one, I guess. Um, without the wave, though. There it is. There's the wave, the old wave. Um, so anyhow, this is a movie based on a true story, actually, about the... Uh, now, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. The Math Mathura army um, trying to push back the invading forces of Ahmad... Sa Abdali. Um, they call him the king of Afghanistan in the plot, but uh, he in the movie he was called emperor. So I'm a little bit confused as to why they called him that. But this movie is called Panapat, The Great Betrayal. And oh my god, was it ever. Uh, so it takes place in 1761. Um, it was a very epic uh, battle, obviously. And the only thing separating the two armies once they finally meet is just this river, uh, basically. So they're, they both come from either side, and unfortunately they weren't able to... So it's basically like a channel, I guess, that separated them. Um, they were able to make it over to the other side to try to get allies, and the I believe, I believe it was the Peshwa army. Or no, I guess Peshwa was their last name. The Math... Mathura army was the actual name of the army. Um, so he is, yeah, once he realizes that the Afghani forces are trying to come over and take over um, now what were they I'm trying to remember the name of the place in the movie that they were trying to take over because it was a whole kingdom. And... Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, anyway. The invading forces are trying to take over the rest of the land, right? Um, and there were obviously like places in this. There's Kandahar, um, as well as many other places. I can't remember the name of all of them. <laughs> But uh, it was cool to see them on either side of the river and the uh, Mothra army in the very beginning, just how powerful they were. And the fact that they were able to uh, recruit one of the guys from the other... Uh... Yeah, recruit one of the guys from the other army that they ended up uh, defeating in the very beginning. And he became a huge part of how they ended up winning against well they didn't really win they didn't really win the last battle but I guess the emperor believed that they had showed enough courage especially um, especially Sadadiv Rabahu who was the I believe yeah was the yeah who was the leader of the uh, Mothra army um, who said that he could do it with a minimal amount of men but then I guess when he seen the, saw the size of the invading forces, he knew that he needed more allies. So they went along the other side of the river collecting allies and also taking over the other, uh, I guess, kind of last lines of defense of the Afghani forces. And they ended up uh, actually taking over the one keep that was uh, super important. Uh, and eventually the Afghani forces just say that they have to uh, cross the river or else it's just going to be even worse for them um, when they, if they don't, because they're going to have anything, any uh, allies that they had on that side are going to be wiped out and so on and so forth. So eventually they just cross the river only to find out uh, that the one guy who has betrayed the Mothra army, who has been... Yeah, siding with the other guy the entire time now, basically. Um, he reports to him, the Emperor, uh, that Kandahar is being attacked. But now he only has one way to make it out and go back over uh, without... There's no way for him to go around without fighting. Uh, unfortunately, the Mothra army was defeated in the end. But it wasn't without <laughs> a serious amount of force from the uh yeah from the 
Afghani forces. And if he hadn't been betrayed by the kingdom that, even though he had, bas he had basically given them like a sweet deal. Um, I guess if they helped him, he would cut their taxes. Um, I don't know by how much exactly, but it ended up being that this guy decided, this other guy decided that he wasn't going to go with that, and he ended up just pulling his army out like midway through the battle. So that's how they were defeated. Um, and not only that, but the um, the other guy that had betrayed them in the beginning ended up convincing the guy across the channel to side with them somehow. Um, I guess because they were of... It might have been because they were of the same faith. Because I believe he says, why wouldn't you help out your Muslim brothers? Because the other guys were... Uh, Yeah, now what, what other real, yeah, because they're Muslim, I guess they wouldn't have been, I guess they wouldn't have been Muslim then on the other side of the channel, right? Were, were they Peshwa? Is that what they were? Oh, maybe that's what it was. Because his name was just, hmm, so they must have been Peshwa then, and the other guys were Muslim. I hope I'm getting that. I hope I'm getting that right. Sometimes it's very hard to tell when there's subtitles and they move so fast. But I, I, I think I'm remembering that correctly. I might go. Ha I might have to go back and watch this movie again too because it was a really good movie. But I think I'm. I think I'm getting that correct anyway. Now it says that was his name, but I think he was Peshwa, if I'm remembering. I can't quite remember now. They definitely weren't, they obviously weren't Muslim if the guys on the Afghani side of the channel were Muslim, right? That would make sense. Um, so I guess he convinces that guy to side with them, and then when they realize that that army is with them, they already have an incredible force, so that's when they decide to try to ally themselves with other people along this side of the river. And then the other guy ends up betraying them once the war starts. So it's just like, oh my god. This guy couldn't catch a break with people not fighting with him. But it ended up being that, uh, yeah, the emperor decided to go back to Kandahar and not continue to fight. Anyway, I guess maybe he was probably frightened that if such a small force of soldiers could do what they did there to defend the kingdom, that obviously... If he tried to attack again, they were only going to come back that much stronger, right? And uh, he decided that, uh, yeah, I guess that one guy showed so much courage that it didn't even matter at that point. <clears throat> um, didn't even matter at that point. Like, he was just so impressed with the courage and stuff that he decided that he was going to let them have their land and he would keep his own. Uh, so I believe it was Creedy Sanon, uh, yeah, Pavardi that, uh, uh, Sadashiv ends up falling in love with. Um, he kind of tries to keep, like, the whole soldier thing, um, kind of, like, tough guy act up, but eventually he realizes that, <clears throat> he realizes that he is in love with her anyway, so he kind of goes to make amends. And in the end of the movie, he ends up dying, so it was kind of unfortunate there, but uh, I guess they got to live out at least a little bit <laughs> of time together. Kind of a sad ending to the movie, um, because he fought so valiantly, and I'm surprised the people that were sided with him betrayed him the way that they did. But I guess that is all part of war, right? When you're, um, when you're in it, uh... Yeah, which really does suck, but I guess, yeah, those, yeah, I guess it's kind of been war over there for quite a while, and a lot of it has to do with, um, I guess, religious beliefs, which is also maybe part of what was happening here. I think it was more, um, more for the kingdoms right in this movie rather than any kind of religion um they just want to control over 
the whole of the land rather than just part of it. Um, I think that's more what this movie was gearing towards, but I think I will go back and watch this again just to remember if the other the others were Peshwas and the yeah, one, like one side was Muslim and one side was Peshwa. I can't quite remember that part. I hope I'm getting that right, but uh, I could be wrong about that. I, I think I'm going to have to go back and watch this movie and do a re-review of it, but uh, that'll be down the road. So hope, hopefully I got everything right in this movie. If I did, I might not even bother doing a re-review of it. I might just watch it again and see, but it was a long movie. I think the runtime on it was, what, like three hours and something? Oh, two hours, 51 minutes. Okay, so that's not so bad. Uh... But I gave this a 7 out of 10, and I hope that I, I hope that I rated my last review. Oh my god, I hope I did anyway. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye bye for now.